What's going on everybody? Jhow here, and I'm about to show you how to go full on god mode in Diablo 3 while simultaneously clearing content at a ridiculously fast pace. I'm going to cover the skills and the gear and some of the alternatives that you can use to have you ripping through content. For the skills, Call of the Ancients, The Council Rises, Whirlwind with Wind Shear, Sprint with Marathon, Battle Rage with Bloodshed, Wrath of the Berserker with Insanity, Threatening Shout with Terrify, and for your passives, Berserker Rage, Weapons Master, Rampage, and Brawler. Now the main attack you're going to use is Whirlwind, and you're coupling this with the new Wrath of the Waste sets for the Barbarian. This is going to make good use out of your Whirlwind and do a ton of damage. The main part about this is the six-piece bonus. Whirlwind gains the, effects, the effect of the Dust Devil's Rune, and Dust Devil's damage is increased to 2,500% weapon damage. None of the other two set bonuses matter. You're not going to worry about them. You're not going to use them. Not even the four piece. And I'll show you why here in just a second. You're going to be whirlwinding. I chose wind shear because this helps you manage your fury and never lose fury and allows you to sprint nonstop and whirlwind nonstop at an incredibly fast pace while simultaneously taking advantage of berserker rage to deal 25% additional damage while near max fury. Next up, Sprint with Marathon. This increases your movement speed by 40% for 4 seconds. If you find that you're not quite doing just enough damage and you need to put an extra little percent of damage out there, you can run with Run Like the Wind and be able to get some tornadoes in your wake that are going to couple with the tornadoes that are coming from the Dust Devil's Rune there. You're getting Wind Shear, plus you're getting the Dust Devil's Rune. It's a nice effect there. Wrath of the Berserker and Insanity with Call of the Ancients and the Council Rises are not going to be ones that you're going to use too often. Wrath of the Berserker, I tend to wait until I get to the Rift Guardian because I clear so fast that two minutes does not come around quick enough. I'll save that and then I'll use it whenever it comes on cooldown or when I'm near an Elite that has some sort of crowd control in effect like Jailer or any other number of things that could, or Fear, or any other number of things that could deter you from your path. So using the Council Rises with Call of the Ancients is just so I can get extra damage for that Rift Guardian. You could simultaneously go with something like Warcry and couple that with the belt that gives you increased movement speed. However, I'm going to show you a belt that you're probably going to want to use anyways. Battle Rage with Bloodshed. This causes extra area damage. Critical hits cause an explosion of blood, dealing 20% of the damage done to all other nearby enemies. That's huge because you're going to be doing a lot of splash damage. And it's very important to have that there. Threatening Shout with Terrify. Now you might be wondering what this is or why we're using it. Enemies are severely demoralized. Each enemy has a 100% chance to flee in fear for 3 seconds. So that's a nice little effect there to get things fleeing. But why? Rachel's Ring of Larceny. You'll see there in the secondary. Gain 55% increased movement speed for 4 seconds after fearing an enemy. This can roll anywhere between 45 and 60%, creating a huge speed boost. Coupling that with Sprint, you're now moving at an incredible pace, and we're not done yet. Your passives, Berserker Rage, like I mentioned, having that extra 25% damage while you're at near fury is huge. Weapons Master, and you could easily go with anything else here that you wanted to. You could even run with Boon of Bolkathos, whatever you want to do. But I tend to find that this extra damage is helping put me over to let my Dust Devils clear everything in T6 as I run through it. Rampage, increase strength by 1% for 8 seconds after killing or assisting and killing an enemy. This effect stacks up to 25 times. You're going to have this permanently. An extra 25% damage always. Next up, Brawler. As long as there are three enemies within 12 yards, all of your damage is increased by 20%. You're going to be running through things at a very fast pace, and you're going to be hitting this all the time and getting your 20% damage increase. That's the skills, and that's what we're going to be using, and I'll show you this in action here in just a second. More importantly is the gear and all the pieces that you're going to need. Boon of, or the Bull Kathos weapons are very important. These got revamped in 2.2 and are now incredibly just ridiculous. You'll see the two-piece bonus. Increases fury generation by 10. That allows you to keep your fury up while not, while not losing any. 
During Whirlwind, you gain 30% increased attack speed and movement speed. There's more movement speed there. Coupling that with Rachel's Ring of Larceny, plus your non-stop sprint, you're now moving at a ridiculously fast pace while simultaneously Whirlwinding. It's great, but we're not done yet. Utilizing the Wrath of the Waist pieces with the boots, pants, gloves, shoulders, chest, and helmet is a nice bonus. You'll see here that I'm actually running extra gold in my helmet because nothing else is needed. You could easily run with a bonus experience one here if you want, but the gold here is just to show off a couple things that we're going to be using. Now, the main thing that we're going to be using is an Avarice Band. You're going to see there in the secondary, each time you pick up gold, increase your golden health pickup radius by one yard for 10 seconds, stacking up to 30 times. Once you start picking up gold, this is going to stack 30 times. You're going to have a 30-yard pickup radius added onto whatever you already have, and you'll be picking up gold all around you. Couple that with the Boon of the Hoarder Gem, which you get from the Vault. And now I have mine at level 30, and this can certainly go higher. 70% chance on killing an enemy to cause an explosion of gold. Once you have this leveled to level 25, you open the second part of that. Gain 30% increased movement speed for 2 seconds after picking up gold. When you have a 30 yard radius plus anything extra that you have on your gear, you are picking up gold non-stop. As you kill enemies, they're dropping gold non-stop. This basically grants you a permanent 30% movement speed bonus so long as you're killing enemies within 2 seconds. It's fantastic. You couple that with Sprint and everything else that we've got going on, and you are still just flying through things. It's just absolutely incredible how fast you're going to move while, while, picking up while picking up gold. The other part here, it doesn't matter what any of your stats are except for your main stat. You're, you're going to see here, I actually grabbed an Ancient one just so I could roll more strength on it. I don't need life. I don't need life regen. I don't need any of that. The main part here on the secondary, on gold pickup, gain armor for 5 seconds equal to the amount picked up. You're going to be dropping gold all over the place with the Boon of the Hoarder Gem, and you are basically going to turn into God Mode in Diablo 3. This is where that comes in. Having extra gold find just means your toughness goes way up real quick. A couple things to keep in mind here with your Avarice Band. This stacks every time you pick up gold. So the first few enemies you kill, make sure that you pick up the gold because you're going to be moving so fast that you're going to move out of range. Once you've picked it up, you'll be able to pick up all the gold while moving at max movement speed down the road. So this takes about two seconds to get wound up, and then you just let loose. Other items that can certainly help your gold find and other items that you can use, I just happen to run across this tonight. And it's absolutely incredible. Squirt's necklace to where we get extra gold find from monsters. That's great. It's a great thing to use. Now, I'm not done yet because there's still one piece of gear, and unfortunately, I don't have a pair of bracers. Now, the Warzechian arm guards that grant increased movement speed when you destroy a wreckable object. Those are incredible to use here for the bracers. So if you have a pair, run those and you're going to find yourself moving even faster, which you're already going to be moving fast enough. I'll show you here in just one second. If you don't have a pair of those and you're looking for an alternative one, you don't need Reaper's ramps. I just happen to have a pair. It doesn't matter what I have so long as I have something in place. If you had a pair of Custarian wrist guards, you can also use those to simultaneously get experience while picking up gold and getting that bonus effect there. That's the skills. That's the gear. More importantly, make sure you also put more points into gold find. Life on hit does not, is not necessary. Make sure and put all your points into area damage first. Crit hit damage, crit hit chance, cooldown reduction. Cooldown reduction, not really necessary. You can actually go and put that back into increased attack speed and then worry about cooldown reduction later because it doesn't really matter except for your threatening shout, which is going to come around quick enough. So that's going to depend on how you want to go there with your Paragon points. We should probably leave that in there, but the increased attack speed will help you while you're clearing stuff. Make sure your movement speed is maxed out in conjunction with your gear. If you have some on your gear already, then go ahead and put enough points in there, but make sure you're at your 25% max movement speed, and so you're moving faster and the rest into strength. Defense does not even matter. 
you're not going to get harmed. Once you start picking up gold with your gold wrap, you become invincible. You cannot be killed. It is incredible. And I'll show you guys here real briefly. I'm also going to bring you guys some gameplay in another video. But we'll go in here and I'll show you what's going on. Now if you're cutting off here and you like the build and you like the video and you like what you see, be sure and hit that like button because that is always greatly appreciated. If you're looking for more Diablo 3 content and other Diablo 3 builds, especially for patch 2.2.0, be sure and subscribe as well. I'm going to show you guys some gameplay real quick. I'm going to be bringing you another video as well. But stick around for this. I'll show you just a few real quick tips as far as how you want to run this in terms of getting in here. Again, holding down your whirlwind, threatening shout, sprinting, and making sure your battle rage is up is all you need to know. Once you get in here, like I said, getting the first few things picked up of gold is the main thing. You're going to see that we're going to pick up a little bit of gold. Our toughness is already up to 192 million. We hit our threatening shout, and we are off to the races. The best part about this is that you actually don't have to stop. If you have decent gear, the only time you actually have to stop to do damage is probably the yellows you pass through a couple times, let your tornadoes hit them, and move along. If you're just going through regular content, you actually don't have to worry about stopping at all. You can test this yourself by just running through at a dead sprint. And I'll show you guys as I move back up the path here, and you can see how wide this radius is, and I'm picking up all the gold that's trailed behind me. I didn't have to turn around. I didn't have to stop to see anything. Once you pick up that gold, you're flying. Just make sure you stay at a constant pace. When you're not picking up gold, obviously you're not going anywhere. So obviously it makes sense to continue to go, pick up your gold, keep your stacks up, and just continue running. You're going to see that you can actually run through anything and not have to worry about stopping to go back to make sure and check that you did it. The only thing you might want to do is check to make sure that you killed an elite or two. But as you can see, running through here, I'll go ahead and pop my Wrath of the Berserker so I don't get hit by anything. I can stand in these, uh, a, we'll shout out to Bandit, I can stand in the laser spinner all I want. I've got had 2.2 million toughness there. Nothing can hurt me. So that's all you got to do to get this thing going. Pick up a little bit of gold and then just take off to the races. Keep your sprint going. Keep your threatening shout going. Keep everything going here and just run at a dead sprint. You can see the elites died there. The blues actually died very quickly. The yellows take a few extra pass-throughs, but that's okay. You can see the dust devils tearing them apart and moving along there. And you can just go about your business in full-on god mode in Diablo 3. Like I said, guys, if you like the build, if you like the video, be sure and hit that like button. Always appreciated. Be on the lookout for more content coming soon. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Till next time, as always, happy hunting. See you again.